With a ton of people hoping for Kiora Jin to have some importance, I'm here to actually confirm this fact to you guys. That and many other things such as his personal information, stat card, and theories from both me and my community. What's going on everybody? My name's Animasu, and as promised, today's video is going to be all about the second emo on Bastard Munchen's roster, Kiora Jin. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to check that you're subscribed to the channel, commenting on my videos, and even join the community discord if that interests you. I hope you all have an amazing day, and please, enjoy the video. The first time we actually see the appearance of Kiora Jin is pretty early on in the story, actually way back in chapter 93. Clearing the second selection alongside the team of Baru, Chigiri, Nagi, and Zantetsu, Kiori Jin can just barely be seen in the background here. Other than that, his only other appearance in the series up until recently was actually in the episode Nagi spin-off series, where fans started speculating on a pretty interesting theory. Being shown alongside the likes of Baru, Shido, and even Itoshi Rin, Kiori Jin's odd appearance in this panel had people speculating for months if this could have deeper meaning. With even one theory being about him being the top scorer of his stratum, this is the one player that we can definitely not be overlooking. Moving on to his new Egoist League appearances, Kiora Jin is actually a reserve player setting the bench for Bastard Wunshin. Up until Blue Lock's 230th chapter, many people probably didn't even know what team he was playing for. With the star change system coming to its close, Noah Noah and Mark's nephew were both subbing themselves out of the game, but the replacement player for Bastard Wunshin being... Kiora Jin? Yeah. Due to Corona being unable to run due to his previous cramping, Kiora was chosen as the next best player to come into the game. Now this moment was definitely a tease for a lot of fans due to what happened here next, as we all know Isagi Yoichi and Yohiori managed to strike a deal with Noel Noah instead. Even in Isagi's argument against Kiora's substitution, he still compliments and praises his ability by calling him a talented player. He points out that his individual stats are right up there with the other starters, and his skill set is also fit to take over Corona's right back slot seamlessly. Surprisingly making no argument for himself, Kiori is then left to sit on the bench once more as Yohiori would then take his spot, which honestly came as a surprise to a lot of people. As a person who made it all the way into the NEL and has been imbued with the egotistical mindset by Blue Lock, how can Kiora Jin just allow Isagi to take away his opportunity? Well this might have a little to do with his personality, which we'll go over in a minute, however we just have one more appearance of Kiora Jin recently to take a look at. In the recently released scans of chapter 231, Noel Noah and Kiora Jin have an entire page dedicated to them. Patting his hand on Kiora's shoulder while walking by, Noel Noah tells him to stay ready and sharp, as he says, I promise, I'll play you in the next match. Now having this moment and these words shoved straight into our faces, it's kind of hard for anyone to deny that Kiora Jin will be having his showtime. Moving on to his recently released stat and personality card, Kiora Jin actually has some pretty crazy stats all around. Boasting an A rating in every category except for a B in his defense, his individual stats also have some interesting tells in them. Firstly, with his 88 rating and shooting, this isn't any small thing to look over as this ties him alongside the Red Panther of Manshine City, Chigure Hyoma, with only players such as Kunigami, Baru, Nagi, and Michael Kaiser having higher ratings than him. Kiora Jin already seems like a formidable threat. Alongside his statistical player information, we also get some fun facts about Kiora Jin himself. Not only giving us a look into his personality, these little facts also had some clues to what his playstyle could be. Now, Kiorajin was born on August 31st and is currently 17 years old, being in his second year of high school. I love how they even feel the need to tell us things such as his zodiac sign, blood type, I mean, am I his doctor or his therapist? Damn. Anyways, being 1.65 meters tall or 5 foot 4, Kiorajin is obviously short as hell, which is another aspect that he can replace Corona in. Being from a family with both of his parents and two brothers, it was actually Kiora's older brother who got him into football at the age of two. It also tells us that his favorite movie is Fight Club as he appreciates the storytelling, and his favorite dish is grape candy as he's addicted to the texture of it. While completely valid choices, there are also a few other bits of information that I skipped over because we need to take a look at them separately. With Kiora Jin's motto being, sharpen your blade and prepare for battle, this can be looked at as an obvious reference to his name's true meaning of blade but also maybe the playstyle he will present. With other players such as Zantetsu and Yukimiya having bladed reference names, this could also have some crazy implications for Kiora Jin's usage. Maybe Yukimiya Kinyu will have someone helping for his dream of being the protagonist, or in the PXG matchup, maybe my boy Zantetsu might just get cooked. Anyways, with his favorite animal being listed as a peacock alongside his favorite color being peacock blue, we maybe are be giving an early hint of what his aura color and representation will be. Now the final thing we're going to take a look at here, is what he's listed to make him happy, which is, uh, a little bit insane. 
He says that he enjoys when being provoked by other people because he then gets to enjoy the thought of crushing them. Well boys, it's wraps for our main character because maybe Isagi does have some bad karma coming his way. And my personal wishes and theory for Kiora is that he will serve as a replacement for Ness in the PXG game. Obviously being confirmed to play already, it would be interesting if Kaiser somehow manages to convince Kiora to play alongside him, as he only has one last game to prove himself. With his given name Jin meaning blade or edge, and his surname Kiora meaning clean, silk gauze, he could possibly specialize in super precise through passes. Something like this, or even super precise cuts and dribbling, would then allow Kaiser to feel fully confident in his mission to crush Isagi. Kiora too would also love to get his payback, considering he likes when people provoke him, as they then become a target to crush. This could possibly be the reason why Bastion Moonshin would somehow even manage to defeat PXG, which would still result in Isagi winning the game, but maybe just not his rivalry with either Kaiser or Rin. Anyways, since this is a Kiora video and Isagi has already stolen his spotlight once, let's take a look at some of your theories for this mysterious character. One of the community's talented artists has quite an interesting take here, being that Kiori isn't going to be some pure striker as the community's speculating. Instead, he'll be more of a defensive midfielder, with a style mixed between Raichi's one-on-one -on -one man marking and Isagi's interception capabilities. Tying into his name meaning as well, this would result in him marking any target he chooses to then cut down any pass that was intended for that said target. Now this is a super amazing idea, because not only does it give some more spotlight for Bastard Munchen's defense, but it would also be a really cool use that people wouldn't expect. Maybe Kiora could align himself with Kunigami in the PXG game if he's willing, so we could see some of these slicing interceptions against the likes of Shido. The only thing I will point out is I think his stats are more befitting of a central midfielder specialized for box to box, however the stats aren't always accurate that way in blue lock. Moving on to our second theory from you guys, this isn't really much of a descriptive one, but more so just a cool idea that I wanted to share. Salad says that in his opinion, Kiorajin will be Bastard Munchen's trump card going into the PXG game. With us knowing absolutely nothing about him or his skills, it's likely that he'll just be some sort of wild card that will have his showing. Now I just wanted to use this here to ask you guys, honestly, do you think it's possible for Kiorajin to just go crazy? Moving into the U20 World Cup arc and the end of the NEL, the elimination aspect of Blue Lock is coming on right back around. Obviously, to keep the series interesting and characters fresh, some people are going to have to be getting the blue boot, while other unknown variables such as Kiori can make a name for themselves to move on. I'll have a video out soon on my most anticipated U20 Blue Lock World Cup arc formations, so make sure to stick around for that cool video. Now for a final theory of today's video, Jamal says that Kiora is overhyped fodder, stop glazing. You'll see in the PXG match that he won't do shit and y'all will look stupid. Uh, can somebody get this guy some help? Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to check that you're subscribed to the channel, commenting on my videos, and even join the community discord if that interests you. My official overview for chapter 231 will release tomorrow, Tuesday Central Standard Time, so make sure to stick around for that. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and please, have an amazing day.